Ah, these are good snacks, Blueberry. Totally, Strawberry. Man, I wish we could find another squirrel to play three squirrel ball. No kidding, I want to play three squirrel ball very badly. Oh look, it's Goose. How did Goose get out of the box like that? He says he wants to play three squirrel ball. Yay, finally. Okay, you two go over there and I'll throw you the ball. Sounds good, follow me, Goose. Okay, here we go. Okay guys, I'll roll you the ball and then you roll it back. No Goose, not that hard. Wow, you've got some tail on you. All right, well, let's get this review going. On the table, Lego Marvel, Captain Marvel. Set number 76127, Captain Marvel and the Scroll Attack. 307 pieces, with minifigures, the alien from Toy Story, Nick Fury, Goose, and Captain Marvel. Inside the box, one instruction booklet, bag of pieces one, bag of pieces two, three, and a fairly good amount of stickers. Let's blast off to the 90s with Captain Marvel and the Scroll Attack. Constructed we have Captain Marvel and the alien from Toy Story, plus Nick Fury and Goose. Nick Fury and Goose may be the only reason I picked up this set. So we have Nick Fury's Quinjet front and center. I think this is actually the first time I've ever really built a Quinjet before. I did build this long ago, but I wouldn't really call that a Quinjet. Oh, that's where Hawkeye is. This Nick Fury's Quinjet is a pretty fun build though, pretty quick. Only 307 pieces to the set. The jet looks real nice, but there's not really too much to it. We can open up the cockpit here and see Nick Fury ready to fly. This would be the younger version of Nick Fury since this movie is set up in the 90s. Trying to figure out why the bio says dual cockpit. I guess I don't really know what the word dual means. 
as only one minifigure can sit up front. It's a pretty tight fit in there too. This Quinjet features a mass amount of flick missiles over on the back side. Hey, watch it here! I'm standing right there! Oh, sorry Captain Marvel, let's stand you guys back real quick. We have flick missiles and you can activate them by these back panels here, these red mailbox cubes. And if you press those in or flick them in, you're going to shoot four projectiles per side, so that's pretty intense. Let's give that a go. Watch out, Captain Marvel. I'm wondering if you could just press it in. Let's try that first. And then they kind of just fall out. So, preferred way of shooting, let's get this guy over here, is the flick way. That way they should just come out real fast. Or you will knock your Quinjet down. There we go, oh my goodness, that's violent. He went flying. So that's kind of fun. And good luck placing those all back in because that's gonna take forever. Then we have adjustable wings. Each outside wing can be moved up and down. I think that's kind of how it is on the box. And these back wings too can be positioned on these little thrusters. Kind of like them, I don't know. I don't really like how they are in the box with them opened up. I think I kind of like them closed. Less hingy. Other than that, good stickers throughout. It kind of feels like a lot of stickers throughout, but now I don't see as many as I felt like I was placing in construction. Oh, and of course, we have an opening and closing back door here, which is perfect for goose. And pretty much only goose, because I don't think you could totally fit a figure in there very easily. Well, let's see, Captain Marvel. Her hair is pretty big, so she's gonna get stuck pretty well in there. Hey, that hair piece is really big. But Goose, Goose can fit all the way in the back. So it's basically Goose's ship. I don't really know how to get anybody else inside there. Kinda feels like we have locked in space in there. Getting a figure in or out other than the cockpit is really not gonna happen. Unless you have a small hair piece. There's also this flap up top, but that's more for air braking and stuff. Real cool Quinjet, decorative and all, just kind of half functioning. Would have been nice to been able to get into that inner hallway easier. Of course, obviously the main draw of this set would be Captain Marvel. There she is, a little closer up with her 90s hair. I believe our first look at a Lego minifigure Captain Marvel. Not a bad start for her in minifigure form. She's holding on to one of those flippy blue power blast weapons. See if I can get it to work here. Uh, pull back a little bit and let go, I guess. Whoa. Won't be seeing that again for a while. And of course, as always with many of these Marvel figures, we have two faces. What's your second face? Ah, something a little more happy. So if you're looking for a Captain Marvel minifigure, not too hard, as this set is fairly obtainable. Of course, the main draw minifigure of this set is... Talos. Or is it Talus? Or Solat? Maybe the species prefers to have their names read backwards. What is he talking about? Shh, I think he's crazy! So we have Talus here. And yes, I'm still quite certain he's an alien from Toy Story. Ooh, did the, did claw, the claw pick, pick you, you too? too? Look at these guys, it's like a mirror image. No secondary face for this guy though. But he does have a stud launcher. Wow, Captain Marvel is pretty strong. Now let's look at Nick Fury a little closer up too. Also with this second face, this one a little more smiley. And one more time, let's take a look at Bart. How are we gonna get Bart out of there? Maybe if I lift up on this thing here. There we go, let me shake him out. Did I just call him Bart? Bart was the name of my orange cat seen in the first video on this channel. This of course would be Goose. Must be a reference from Top Gun, with Captain Marvel being a pilot and all, or is she a pilot? I don't know. So three good minifigures with this set should be pretty easy to figure out some sort of adventure. I'm pretty sure this video is going to run short, so might as well take some time counting Quinjet missiles. One, two, three, four, we got one side, five, six, seven. Oh dear, this office is so a mess. Um, 
What's going on over there? I don't even know. Got some pieces. Stitches over there. Sierra missed today. Where did the other missile go? Alright, here we go. This is a rare shot. It's some of the clutter that has befolded under my desk over the years. There would be the squirrel's umbrella table, which has fallen. Poor Blueberry has just been thrown to the floor. Uh, the chairs box. Got some clutter of uh, some Smashers pieces. Oh, the dragons have been hanging out over here with uh, Voltron, the Black Lion. And oh, here we go. There it is, our final Quinjet piece down here. Oh, look, a Playmobil uh, Stay Puff. That was one of the final things I bought from Toys R Us. So I really need to clean the office. Anyway, back up here. And here we go, eight Quinjet missile darts. All right, well, let's get these darts back in. Alright, but looks like we have one more thing to talk about in installing these darts. I shot out one of the uh, mailbox holders. I thought those were supposed to stay in somehow. Why is this one just kind of resting nicely? Oh, it looks like we lost a red bumper piece. Where did, where did the red bumper piece go? That's supposed to hold this in from falling out. I seem to have lost that. Peace. Well, that's great. How did they? How did I do that? Was that from the? Oh, there it is. <laughs> right behind me. Whew. Okay. So how am I gonna get this in without? Looks like I'm going to have to take this whole thing off somehow. Um, oh dear. Hang on, everybody. Hang on. See if I could just fit it in there. Oh, this is risky. This is risky stuff today. E. Okay. Okay. And then squeeze her back in. All right. We have fixed our Quinjet. Whew, that was close, but added a few minutes of extra content for this probably very short video. And Bart, or should I say Moose, or was that Goose, does not seem to be amused. Whoop, gotta give Captain Marvel her blue flippy thing back. Uh, this is the thing that sits behind Nick Fury. Fix Talos' face here, and I think we're about done here. So if you're looking for a fun Quinjet-like build with a multitude of missiles to lose, but some really cool minifigures like Nick Fury and Captain Marvel, check out looking for this set. And I guess it could be a filler maybe before more Avengers Infinity War sets come about. Or should I say Avengers Endgame. Endgame. That's it. Congratulations! The claw chose you! Lego Marvel, Captain Marvel, Marvel Captain Marvel, Captain Marvel and the Scroll Attack arrive on store shelves January 2019, running approximately $29.99. I found this set over at Target. If you are thinking about being a big fan of Captain Marvel, then you'll want to start picking up her merchandise. And what better start would be collecting her Lego merchandise. A pretty quick build with some good minifigures. And perhaps maybe even the claw will choose you. That's what I have to say about that. I wish the claw would choose the squirrel. Thanks for watching Squirrel Stampede. Please, like, share, subscribe.